Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I just quickly wanted to jump on here and just share the last few little projects that I need for um, the family here uh, for Christmas before they get wrapped up and uh, yeah, and then because I always forget to share, I make these things sometimes and then either they get sent away to BC or um, given away and I always sometimes forget to share. So this is just going to be, I think, a quick video. Anyways, I made these ornaments, as you can see in front here. I forgot, I wanted to order the acrylic ornament off Amazon, completely forgot because I wanted to make ornaments. So I had these three inch um, acrylic keychain ones, and um, I did see a video of someone doing this. I can't remember who it was now. Um, yeah, and she just used glitter and the Mod Podge Magic. Um, yeah, so I just glittered on the back, used the Mod Podge, um, well, first of all, did the Mod Podge, threw the glitter on, let it sit for an hour, and then did Mod Podge again. I did do two coats of Mod Podge. And then on the front, um, on my Cricut, I found Merry Christmas, and I wanted to do each grandchild their own ornament. So this one says Talon 2021. As you can see, um, I forgot to take the little, well, you know, I don't think it cut. In this L here, if I've been selling it or something, it wouldn't be like that. But yeah, and, and I ended up welding it to that T. So I'm thinking that's why I didn't want to cut out like it does here. A little bit there. But that's okay. He's not going to notice. And it's uh, something that he can hang on to for, you know, for as long as his mother doesn't lose him. Anyways, that is one for Talon. And this one here is for Olivia. And then, I, of course, I just put the ribbon and... The bow. I love this ribbon. I, I got it from Allie, and I am going to definitely order more. Uh, I did this one for Mason in the red. Yeah, just all of them just said the Merry Christmas a name, and then the 2021. And then I did two in green. So this one was for Damon. And uh, also used the black on these ones here. The black bows. And uh, Merry Christmas, Jackson, on 2021. Yeah, I think I needed to bring this down a little bit more. And then I could have glued the bow to here. Instead, I had to glue the bow to the ribbon. But, you know, that looks... I think it looks super cute still. Anyways, did those. And then I did this silvery mixed color that I have no idea where I got from. Got from? Got it from. <laughs> So, yeah, so I did that, and it's got all different colors in it. I love it. So, this one says Merry Christmas, and this is to my girlfriend's daughter, uh, Jamie and John, 2021. And then this one is for my daughter and her fiancé. And, yeah, Mandan Ray, 2021. Yeah, so I made those. I'm definitely going to order the um, ornament ones from Amazon, because they have the little, they look like an ornament. <laughs> and then uh, do... I think I might make some next year and then try and sell them. I don't know. But yeah, yeah, I was so mad that I completely forgot to order those. But these came in handy, so that's good. And then uh, for my resin, I was having fun with my resin. Um, I did this. I love the way this turned out. I was watching, I can't remember who I was watching. I was watching actually a lot of videos that day. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try what I'm going to do. So I took some of the um, pigment um, powder stuff that I have and uh, mixed it with resin with the blue and then the yellow and the green. So I just took a little bit and poured it on the bottom of this um, family word. And then I did a little bit of the yellow and then I did the green. And then I poured a little bit of resin, this clear resin, and then I did it again didn't put much because you can see on the bottom here and it and it shines right through it's really cool <laughs> I don't even know if the camera's giving it justice but um yeah and then I stuck a little more blue a little more of this yellow gold and then the green uh, this is the back so you can really see where it sat I think I could have done a little more of the gold yellow but uh yeah I love the way and I filled it nicely, and it sort of bubbled, and I, I was very, very pleased with this. And this is for my daughter here, and lives here. So now I'm going to have to make one for, I did make one for my daughter in BC, but it was just a plain blue. Now I have to make her a new one, because I don't like the one I made. Anywho, 
Yes, love. Love, love, love this. Oh, I love playing with resin. Resin is just so much fun. It's just so expensive. Anyways, and then I just made a couple more um, of these bows in the resin. And look at these little guys. <laughs> that, that mold that I picked up from Dollarama. Oh, I don't have it on my desk here either. It's behind me in a drawer. Um, I wondered if they would... Can you, is it even focusing? I wondered if the buttons and the eyes and everything would show up on it. And oh my goodness, I did two of them. Super, super cute. Oh my goodness, I just absolutely love them. So I'm going to have to do more. Yeah, and uh, this was that with that pigment um, powder stuff. What's it called? Is it not pigment powder? What's it called? I can't think what it's called, but yeah. They're so, so aren't they cute? <laughs> <laughs> then I was just playing around again, did a little wine glass. I had, um, I think this was the other day, actually, when I was doing my um, Daughters in BC. I had a little bit of this green left over, so I did another wine glass. And then I just did another heart. And then I just did a few more bows in the green. Oh, and then I did in some in the yellow. And this one in the green. And then... Uh, yeah, that set that I have of all those bows. Yeah, so now I have lots in the yellow. Now I actually have quite a few. I need to start remembering to put them on to projects. Yeah, there's no yellow ones. Or like a goldy yellow. So yeah, that was it for my resin. And yeah, I think I put little hooks on these little guys. I don't know if I'll paint them. I might try and paint one just to see. But I think with little hooks and make them into charms, I think they're so cute. I love gingerbread man. Anyways, so that was just my quick um, share. Oh, yeah, and then I did this mug. This isn't from the Cricut. I had these two um, from Michael's. This one here and then the one that I just met. This one here. I've had these, I think, in my stash for about five years. And I put them in the Christmas stash because I was going to uh, do mugs, I think, way back for I'm not sure who for. And this one says all you need is donuts. And this one says easy, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's what my granddaughter, granddaughter, grandson, the oldest, says all the time. So I thought I'm going to pick up a white mug and just stuck it on there. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and that was that. So that was it for the project shares. And then I just have a couple of... um. Christmas cards to share. I have one from Linda. Linda H. who is on YouTube here. Thank you so much, Linda. I appreciate the card. I'm hoping next year that I will be getting my cards out. This year I was... I haven't even made one card. <laughs> so doing this hashtag 365, like I said before, Christmas should, should immensely help me. So anyways, Linda, thank you very much for the beautiful card. I love it. And she just says inside it, Diana, wishing you all the best this Christmas, Linda. So thank you. And then I received one from Cheryl Taylor. And Cheryl is on Instagram. She's not on, right? She's not on YouTube, no. And I'm so behind in watching everybody's videos. Anyway, she sent me this beautiful card that she had made. And it's one of those slim line cards. I've not made one of these yet. Super cute. Has the uh, the uh, deer on here with the snowflake. And it says Merry Christmas. And this is from that paper pad that I have that I can't think. Backed up in the silver. And then inside she just says, Diana, I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas and a Happy New Year. I also hope that you can make use of the crafty goodies, goodies I included in the envelope. And I definitely will, Cheryl. She sent off, um, sent off, sent me some trims, which I will definitely be using. I think I might just use these and make one of those little ribbon, um, what are they called? The ribbon tassels. Yeah, I love that. I love this pom-pom. I wonder where you got this pom-pom one from. I love that. I love anything to do pom-poms. But yes, yeah, she sent to me that, so that was super nice. And then just pieces from, um, I do the same thing too. Save these from um, the paper pads because it is paper, right? Yeah, so she sent me a couple of those. 
and then she sent me you can pick them up here um some cards this one says hello oh whoops sorry you know the camera hello december and yeah some of these these would be great for using for cards or yeah this one says merry christmas and they're double-sided love this love this paper pad it reminds me of the of an older paper pad yeah, so thank you so much for for those, Linda. Pardon me, Cheryl. <laughs> thank you so much for that. I so appreciate it. Like I said, I'm hoping next year I will be able to get my button gear and get uh, Christmas cards out. I mean, this was ridiculous this year. I don't know what happened, but anyways, and now it's like a rush, a mad rush to the end. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again, girls, Linda and Cheryl, for the um, Christmas cards. And thanks, everybody, for joining me today in my craft room. Um, this will be probably my last video until well into the new year. So, hope everybody has a, a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Please stay safe out there and healthy. Um, yes, this viruses are crazy. So I just want everybody to have a great Christmas, a great New Year, and stay safe. And we'll see you guys in my next video. We'll be in the New Year of 2022. Thanks, you guys. Bye.